Hello, I'm Raida Wurst and in this video I will quickly demonstrate how a designer who is using Autodesk InfraWorks can connect the project to Autodesk BIM 360. In my previous videos I have shown how to create a project into BIM 360 environment and how to add users who can use this project. As you see, one of my users is noted as a designer and this designer logs in into Autodesk InfraWorks account or product and create a new project that connects also to BIM 360 platform. I close currently my browser view and concentrate on to Autodesk InfraWorks. I fire it up doing a double click. Of course, as you see, I'm currently logged out and I'm using now account that belongs to that designer that was assigned to BIM 360 project, my username and also password. Once I'm logged in, of course I may see some other projects that are so-called cloud or local projects that were previously made with previous version of Autodesk InfraWorks. In current video, I want to create a project into BIM 360 environment. I can see that my Autodesk InfraWorks now has special icons that comes with new version of Autodesk InfraWorks as B that helps to open my projects in BIM 360 and also shared views that enables to share my InfraWorks project through a browser. I do a quick start project using Model Builder. If I do a left click, my standard Model Builder with small differences. Now I can see right hand side a BIM 360 folders so, I plan to create some small project to present how you create it into BIM 360 environment. I zoom in and maybe this new project will be some new bridge project. So, I will zoom in to the area to where I want to build that new bridge. I can search by location as before, I can give a model name and I can also connect this project now directly to BIM demo project. And remember, this project was previously created through BIM 360 environment. And because I'm logged in as the same user who has rights to this project, that is the reason why I see this level of structure. So I enter model name, maybe it will be bridge project, and I click create model. As before, this will be my cloud model that then will be downloaded into my local machine or hard drive. So I close this and I close also model builder. And now I simply need to wait once my project is ready. Once my bridge project is available, it comes up also to my Autodesk InfraWorks start screen. As you see, it's bridge project and a special icon tells me that it's now BIM 360 model. I can do a left click to open my project and some extra data from the cloud is now downloaded to get a local copy. My local project is now opened and let's just uh, quickly do some new design. And because this step is now common to InfraWorks users, I will simply speed it up in this video and come back later when some new design is added so that we can look further how this data is now exported or shared through BIM 360. So, I have created a simple project, it's my new bridge project, and now let's take a look how I can update this model into BIM 360, what are its possibilities and what are my viewpoints in terms of BIM 360 users. First of all, I can easily see that I do have a B icon, experience your model in BIM 360. I do a left click to open up browser view and this is my BIM 360 document management service. Because I'm logged in, it opens up 
my PIM360 project because it was created in PIM360 at the very beginning. But you can also say that this current project doesn't have my bridge yet. So I close my view and next step will be that I want to share my update into PIM360. And for that, I use sync model changes with Interworks. So I do a left click, I get a notification about synchronized model. I can include, share my changes. I can see that I only have one master right now. I use sync and the synchronizing model happens. I get a notification about synchronizing model that it finished successfully. I can directly open PIM360 as before, but right now I close it. I can then click again on this B icon, but please be patient in terms of updating processes. After immediate synchronization, you may not see your project updated in PIM360 because it will be prepared for web-based viewing. And this view, as you see currently, may not be the case if you try to do it uh, after synchronization directly. It will simply notify that this project is currently in update process. Once this is carried out, I can immediately see that my project actually is updated also in my PIM360 document management and I can see also through my browser my project effort. So this was a simple video about how to create PIM360 project using Autodesk InfraWorks and how to update your PIM360 project and how to get that information back through a web browser. Therefore, if you learned something new about this video, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notification about new videos I add. Bye bye.